Hello everyone and welcome back to the franchise mode in episode number I have absolutely no idea I think it might be number eight nine ish I guess so last episode we've done the tiger exhibit I've done a pretty much a lot of stuff uh, off stream uh, off stream off off stream off whatever you know what I mean so um, today's episode will be focused on the new challenge which is if it's in here the community challenge is the Western um, uh, lowland gorillas um, and we haven't got an exhibit for them nor do we have any any gorillas already made however you've seen potentially this one I made this entrance in in one of the latest episodes I put this in I said hello, say hello. I have put this in already as a little bit of a speed build in the second episode. I will focus more on this in the future though. But for now, I think I like this entrance quite a bit. Uh, so we have some context uh, Context to the, is it about two, snow, two degrees, September? Okay, well, animals are going to be cold, right? Yes, oh my goodness, is this temperature? Yeah, let's put some heaters in uh, real quick. Okay, I wasn't prepared for snow in September in Central Europe for, for whatever reason. Um, let's put the heater in so that our animals have a bit of uh, heat, I guess. <laughs> uh, that makes sense, right? So, yeah, I'm, I'm concerned that they will suck a lot of energy, but um, we do have the money, we do have the energy, we have the, f you know, we have it all. We don't need to care about this too much. Um, let's also put down the bongos um, so they do get a little bit of warmth here as well. Down here would be nice, I guess. So a bit more and uh, also a bit more over here. So I, I, I mean, the thing about this is I, I figured that you have to put them everywhere, these heaters and stuff, because otherwise you don't give them enough and they're, you know, they are having some trouble getting warm. The problem is and I, I feel like it would be so much better if they could kind of reach the area where it's warm anyways because they know where it's warm so it can leave out a little bit of the habitat uh, to be you know somewhat uh, cold because that's what you would do you would have like an internal area where the animals definitely would be um, yeah, kind of warm and then you would have the outdoor area where the animals um, basically could go and play in the snow if they want but most of the time they will be uh, happy ever after in the warm internal area. So now let's check what's happening with the heaters. <clears throat> okay, that looks good to me at the moment. Uh, looks good. They don't seem to complain too much. So the habitats are getting less snowy than you would expect. Uh, the macacas are uh, are very, very happy with this. Ski disease is covered. Um, okay, do we have the border telodosis? Uh, or bar, is it bordet or wa whatever? Um, have we researched it? By the way, talking about research, we do need to do a lot of research anyways. Um, yeah, we have researched that. But anyways, we can we can just research more of that stuff here. Uh, makes the whole thing better. And mechanic research. Aha, uh -huh, we, we, yeah, 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 give it to me. They're still researching. Let's do this. And mm, uh, pff, uh, whatever. Can you, you can know back. Who is this? This is Elder Donald. Elder Donald can do the African theme then. Is this? Yeah, more than enough. I don't even need the blueprints. So um, what about the classic theme is done by Tabatha Arringen. Tabatha is going to do the food shops now. And Asia, oh my. Uh, Camille Emerson is doing uh, the, the, the drink shops. Yeah, why not? Drink shops. Awesome. So, incubator, well, whatever. Um, is there anything else? Water treatment failing? No, that's fine. So we can now take care of getting facility broke down. What's the ATM? Okay, you know what we do? We get another mechanic. Uh, staff and another mechanic. Here we go. You go down. Okay, awesome. Look at, I mean, I love the lighting. Where is the mechanic gone? Just disappeared. All of a sudden. Just gone, I guess. Uh, never mind. Okay, so it looks so lovely. Look at ah, it's just insanely nicely done. It's I I have no words for it. It looks so super well. It looks so. Oh god, look at the lighting. Uh, well, we we have to we have to we have to look at that. It's just so super pretty. It stopped snowing now, but it's still cold, so the snow should stay for a moment, and the sun is just coming in and. Okay, the snow is vanishing slowly now. Uh, well, okay, that was not even that slowly. Four degrees already. 
Snow seems to be vanished. Alrighty, never mind. We wanted to take care now of the animals. Now we have to do... Um, what the hell? Oh, no cash listings. Still, it's still a little bit of a problem. No, there we go again. Okay, I don't want to have bongos. I want to have the Western Lowland Gorilla. God, I mean, many people will do this. Holy moly. Is that seriously the highest... How am I even supposed to get one then? Okay, we, we won't get this done in this episode. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought it would be like we could at least get one maybe and then... Okay. 1.8 thousand of these freaking leaf money things. Uh, oof. Oof. Okay, that means actually we need, we need some animals that do, you know, breed. <laughs> Kind of nicely. Oh wait, we do have already some has been box unbox all. Why though? We have some hippos and farmers and black bear and we have the saltwater crocodile. I want to go with the hippos though quickly because um, I feel like hippos are doing us the favor of getting more babies and at the same time, you know, making us a bit more money out of the people being here. So we are going to do this now and let me just check the zoo traffic. Where is our backstage area? So our backstage area is all over here. So we could... Ah, uh, well that's the entrance, so people get in here. I don't want to make them move here, so this can be the whole backstage area anyways. Um, we can get them down here, but then we have the hippo in the middle. We have another backstage area here, so it's fair to put it here. Okay, great. We put that in the middle. And I want to yeah, connect the path uh, between here. So let's meander it just over here. I want to have a lot of space though. Just make sure that we get this done this way. Okay. Now let's connect this. Yeah, we're gonna create a bigger plaza over here. Oh god. Okay. That wasn't the best idea I ever had. Okay, so this is done. I want to also bring this uh, pathway down here. Yeah, never mind. Maybe we can actually uh, Well. That is a bit weird. Can I somehow... Yes, it's still weird. Can I, uh, before I go down, can I just smooth this out and see what the... Okay, it's still looking somewhat odd. Okay, that's not working. I want to connect this now entirely. Hmm. It's looking it's looking decent enough but it's it's not looking great I mean we can we can cover this up in rocks I just want to make sure that there is a connection so again people can go down um, talking of going down obviously we, we might we might want to consider getting this path a bit down here because uh, we definitely need some kind of viewing gallery of these hippos so let's kind of create this here so in a way okay i'm um, gonna gonna do quickly the oh you know what we can just already create a bigger bigger area which is is lower down so that that will be the lower area where the hippos can swim okay so that's it and we're gonna bring the path down just via a ramp i guess that should be the easiest way to do it so let's use the stamp tool as always because that's the most precise one without creating ugly looking faces um yeah why not just do it that way and pretty much oh well that's not nice okay that's nice enough so we're gonna go down uh, maybe we can put the ramp just to one side and then just bring the the path down on the other. Why not? Why not? Oh, we just delete one more piece over here. Let's do this. I think it's, it's easier doing that. Okay, now uh, let's just create a bit of a open area here. And we're going to use again the stamp tool. Awesome. Just, where is this? Okay. Oh. Wait, what did I do? Okay, so is that... No, we are just fill. Okay, so done. Now... That's it. Let's just bring it all over here and I'll just ramp it down. Great. Yeah, that's kind of it. And now we should be able to use this path here. I don't want to do more. And now let's just... Are you kidding? 
Why is this? That, that's still not how I wanted it to have. Uh, I just, nope, that's too big. That's what she said. Definitely not, but well. Okay, so if we just smooth it out this way, it should potentially work. Okay, so let's put a one here and another one here. So first of all, I want, yes, I want this one to be connected. Same. You're just kidding me. Yeah, that's it. Now you can be happy ever after. And same. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 exactly like this. I can, I can deal with having the path like so. Yeah, that's even better. I want to have it this way. Exactly this way. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. That should be fine. Now we should be able to bring the glass barrier in here. And what I want to do is, and exactly that's what's happening. That is awesome. Okay, we need... Oh, well, it doesn't really matter where I put it, so I can just bring it as close as possible to our path. Now we do have the issue here that, okay, never mind. We need to move this slightly over here and then just all the way around here. Awesome. Now we should be able to bring it exactly the same way up again. Great. And just move it around. Perfect. So that's what I wanted to do. And the only thing we are changing now is the height because we don't even need it that high. So we can just have it ever so slightly tilt it down. That is awesome. Okay. Um, and one thing I do not want to have is I want to have, first of all, some kind of uh, wall. And then same goes over here. There you go. Wall. Awesome. Done. And this is kind of the glass face we have. The only thing is, do we want to have like a curved one here? I feel like a curved one would look better. Just let's shorten this a bit. Just have this here. Sorry, we need the other one here. And now I do want to, ah uh, no, we first of all have to go straight. Why is that not working? Uh, sorry. So why don't you, are we in the, with the glass? So we cannot go here. What is it, obstructed? Are you kidding? Okay, so what if I am, okay. That is so weird. Like I, I, I can't do this, but that's not nice. I mean, so maybe, what about doing it? That, okay, that might work. Oh yeah, right. Okay, I, want, I just want to have like something like this, you know, um, where you can go a bit further in here so that it looks nice. Um, I feel also like there is a trick to, to get this a bit more seamless. So we are deleting that, oh, well. I should then use the same thing. Um, there we go. And now hit Y. Okay, why is it a Z I meant? I can't do it any smoother. So what happens if I put it... Okay, I just... I just can't because it's not long enough. But Okay, I may, I, I may do it this way though. And then... Okay, I think I, I don't even improve it over here. Um, <laughs> absolutely not. So that's looking, that's looking weird. So let's just redo it until, yeah. I kind of liked it the way it is like this. I mean, maybe we can just move this a bit. So that's actually a bit nicer. Here we go and just drag that ever slightly in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So this is going to be this is going to be the entrance to that water area. Now, what we have to do first of all is to this will be huge bazaar of water. Let's uh, just get a bit more land in because I feel like this might be even for the hippos way too big. So I just want to have a bit more land here. <laughs> I guess yeah, that's a, a way better idea. We can also just move that all in and just give the hippo then two areas to go down to. Um, just also you know, let them swim in these caves or whatever. I wonder if they would do it though, but never mind. Okay, so that's gonna be that's gonna be it, and then we can we can just create a subtle slope where they can go in. Gonna be here and here, smooth. And oh my, jeez, the radius is like one million, I guess. Uh, okay, so gonna do gonna do that. Okay. 
I'm not sure if that's enough. But anyways, we are going to put water in already, terrain, and then we're just quickly doing the... Oh my, that's, that's nice. That's high enough. It creates this wonderful water view down here. Yeah. And now we can just build the exhibit around. Now, I wonder if they... Like they, I mean, hippos can't jump, can they? I mean, it's it's just almost like, let's go to two meters. I guess that's more of the safe version, I guess. And uh, yeah, no, not, not that long. Um, can we just curl around here? You know, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that huge habitats. I mean, yeah, I think that's fine. We can give them a bit of a bit of a, a backstage not backstage but it's like you know shelter area there and then that's fine and also we might want to consider raising that bit over here as well to two meters yeah or somewhat like that cool so this is done we put the entrance in which is potentially going to be over here awesome now let's put the oh they changed it it's automatically no it's not i thought they changed it to automatically being staff path which it's not it's so weird. It should be. It should definitely be automatically staff pathing first. Anyways, it's not, but I, I don't really care too much. Okay, we have done this. Um, I can also, like, you know, go in and, and build a very quick building for them. Like, very quick. Uh, let's see what kind of wall pieces do we have over here. I think... I think I'm gonna go with the normal concrete metal. Nope. Nobody nope. Is this like a painted brick wall? Ah well, you know what? I'm just I, I I think they need a fairly high building to ah you know we could just keep it a little bit open and closed at the same time so the staff members can go in from the one side, fill in some stuff and then Yeah, why not? Let's pretend this is like the staff entrance over here. I, I quite like the idea of having one. I don't know. Uh, and just uh, create one, two. Yeah, well, it almost looks like a little bit of an entrance. That's fine. And um, yeah, give them. Oh well, window doesn't make too much sense here. So let's uh, put that all in. I think. Yeah, that's fine. Looks a bit more like something, I guess. Okay, so it, it's not really going to be the high quality exhibit. But, uh, well, at least it's something. <laughs> at least, at, le at least, at least it's something. Okay, so which kind of roof? I just want to go with the wooden roof. Why not? It looks fairly okay to me. Great, we've done this. Um, yeah, why not just move it somewhat like here? It's very, very, very simple what, what I'm doing here. But it's, yeah, time effective, I should say. Efficient? Is that efficient? Time efficient? Time effective? I think it's efficient, right? It must be efficient. Uh, everything else would not make that much sense, I guess. Okay, like so. Awesome. Yeah. That's kind of it. I like it a lot. Um, I, I mean, considering the, the short amount of time. Um, you know, the thing is, I'm not even sure if they will go in because it might even be too low. We're gonna see. We're gonna see as soon as we put them in. But before them put them in, uh, habitat, filter, species, uh, hippos again, right? There we go. There we go. Mm, yeah, the extra large bedding goes in here, please. Boom, one and two. There you go. You can have a lovely sleep over there. You're gonna get the big food trough over here. Huh. Grass is gone. Uh, I love these things, to be honest. Like, I don't even know what they do with it, but I like having them. And when this ha hanging grass here, I'm just gonna put this here. So that's great. We're gonna definitely need some drinks. Give them some drinks over here. They love also the mud bath. Okay. Well, why not? I guess. Let's give it to them. Let's give it to them. I can put it here. Yeah, why not? Put it there. Oh, what is that? Waterfall enrichment. I no no no. You don't get that. I mean, I I like it, but no, not not yet. God, I'm just putting them in so weirdly now. Cooler heater. Hmm. It's a uh, water pump. Should be in reach. Okay. So and I also remember that they do like a lot more soil. So we put already 
some soil in. And as I, as, as I remember, they're also not the biggest fans of tall grass. Okay, let's see how, how well we hit it. Um, in terms of plants, maybe we just stick some... Uh, we, we could just put some basic palm trees in. I remember they, they just like palm trees, I guess, and make it a bit of a tropical habitat over here. It's so weird, like, in, in franchise mode. I would love to have the time to make this all look a lot better. I mean, by now I have the money to do so. But, I don't know, it's just... It doesn't really move you any further, so, at the moment, and I just want to have the animals I need, and then later on we can just kind of revamp the zoo. I feel like this is also a cool challenge to revamp the zoo. Anyways, we need... Uh, some proper stuff down here. Uh, yeah, I just want to I want to have a bin. I definitely want to have a bin, but I also want to have the donation boxes. Donation boxes. Where are the donation? There's... wait. Okay, I, I, for a moment I thought I could move them completely free in, in mid-air. Yeah, what is that? Okay, that, well, that was weird. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I see this positioning to be... Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, great. <laughs> Whatever, I'm gonna put the education just in, in the middle there, I guess. Uh, where's the education board? Got it. Nope. That direction, please. Boom. Gonna put the hippo there. Gonna put the hippo, yeah. Trust me. We're gonna put the hippo. So, we can just not put that many benches here, right? Can we? We can just plop them li like like right in the middle of the pathway. But I'm, I'm, I'm willing to use this one. So, one goes here. One goes here. And the other one kind of like a... <laughs> I was kind of like a sofa, but that doesn't make sense. So, yeah, we have them here. Like, I just, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. I somehow like this. So, we're going to put the bin behind. You know what we could do? I think no one will ever just walk there. So, we could just put a tree down here. And kind of pretend that, yeah, why not? I mean, that's kind of cool. Just, just, yeah. Why not? That looks that looks okay to me. That looks okay. So we've done that, and uh, now we should move our animals in. Animal trading. Let's do this. Uh, well, yeah, no. <laughs> well, no, I guess. Uh, let's see. Two women and one male. Uh, as I remember correct. Oh God, why am I not able to? <sighs> Fatality is not that amazing. Oh my god, sorry for sorry for that. I just didn't want to do this, but there was like a fly in front of my in front of my mouth and I was just like blowing to to just yeah, make it make it go. Alright, that that one is better. So move. Hmm. All these animals I have yeah, okay, just quick trade for money, it doesn't really matter that much. Anyways, talking of money, is there anything in particular where we well no, let's let's go with uh, delete the filter. Here we go, just filter deleted. Awesome, and now let's sort by prize. And I wanna have, no, whoa, my goodness me. Have you seen, like it's, oh my, oh my, how many of these albino things do we have? This is like, everyone has albinos, I never had one. That's insane, you can even buy them. I mean, yeah, obviously they are getting like 10,000 credits for them. Cheeks. Okay, but I, I just don't want to have this. I want to filter by that. Okay. So is there any amazing animal in here that I do want to have and I do want to get into my zoo? Actually, not that many good animals, right? We have the common ostrich. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Still the same. Okay. So yeah, we unpause the game. Now people are, are like, our caretakers are running towards, well, they're first of all, they're running through our benches, which is not a good thing. But secondly, and this is far more important, they are getting our animals, which is great. So, facility still broken down, okay. Water treatment still broken down. Can we have a mechanic coming, please? Oh my God, even more offspring. Yeehaw, that's amazing. So how many flamingos do we have? Quite a few flamingos already, right? That is really not that bad, uh, because by times we can sell them and hopefully get some more conservation credits for that. 
Uh, but they should be still very happy also with the social social group, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Heart Shelter is a bit too low now because, well, we've got m many, many more. So that's why. But as soon as, uh, you know, as long as the overall welfare is fine, I don't care too much about that, to be honest. Okay. We've got arrived here. Social group, social group, social... Play. Come on, don't don't just space. Critical size. Oh my goodness! Can they, maybe they cannot move? Let's see. Okay, the, actually, the exhibit is not that. Sm I thought it was smaller, uh, bigger, but it's it's apparently it's not. It's very small. I don't even know why. I there was like a new icon. What is that? Ah, okay, I see that. So that's where I can walk and swim. That is interesting, traversable area. So how much do they need? Okay, that is interesting. Way too less water area and well, okay ish okay. Well we can we can we can deal with that. We can deal with this pretty easily. Um by just moving a bit of the barrier first. So let's just take that. Not the band, but like this and just Yeah. Drag it out. I mean, why not? Okay, uh, okay, no, let, let's not do this. Let's just not do that. Okay, so terrain and water, delete this water, and we should also then be able to just, just move this further in here. I think it's, it's fairly okay to have a bit more water like so. Okay, that should be done. Um, and why not? Uh, oh, we can just also build a bit more up there. And then we can also move this pillar to that side a lot more. So we have a bit more land and we, we still need more land. So let's just do this and also create that one. Yeah. So we have a lot more land here where they can go and, and walk and have fun. Uh, but yet we should also have a lot more water. So they should be able to go in here pretty easily. Let's see if they do. That's the water area. Now let's see how much this changed for them. And let's go. So traversable area is pretty fine. Now let's let's check that. Oh my god, how much water do they need exactly? So they yeah well. Okay. Well, you got me to that challenge. You got me to that challenge, guys. I um, will then. Make it a bit easier. Just go. And then we're just gonna make this a uh, huge ass pond here. Sorry for my words, but this is what they need. So that's what, whoa, okay. Just putting this down like a machine gun. And well, yeah, that looks stupid. Stupid enough to do it that way. Wait, no. Ah, it's just not fair. Okay, now it's connected. Uh, but, but talking about that, we should also just then move this thing out here so that the building is not looking so stupid. Okay, so this is done. Now let's get rid of the water. And, you know, if we are talking about that like this, we then should just do it and give them this biggie like a little, oh well, it is a lake. Well, you can actually call it a lake already. I was just like saying pond, but it's it's definitely like a, you know, it is most likely a river, uh, not river, uh, a lake. Oh God, my words, what's going on? I'm, I'm super tired. I also plan to like, okay, what is con... Uh-huh, but it's not working that high now. What is the issue? Is it because of that one? Let's just move this one or is it because of this one? I can just also move that one. Okay, so water, tell me what's the reason. Oh, maybe because of the animal. Maybe because of the animal. Ah, that might be. Ah, oh, come on. Do this and move it back into this habitat, please. Ah, I, I'm pretty sure it is because of the animal. Can we just... Un unbox. Oh, it's gonna be unboxed over here. Ah, you know what? I am, I'm going to deal with this in a different way now. Because otherwise, okay, can, can I actually flatten this? Yeah, so 
That should be working. That should already be enough to put water in. Exa yeah, haha, <laughs> here we go. Okay, let's see if, if this is enough water for them. Uh, ooh, okay, they can't get into the water now, or what is what is the... Well, they can. Uh-huh. They can actually also go into the hard shelter. That's pretty good. So, that's interesting enough that they can go in here, and that's all traversable for them, so... All right, so that's that's kind of fixed. I don't want to give them even more water. That's fine. Now, hard shelter. I'm kind of a lazy boy today. Lazy, lazy boy. Lazy, lazy, lazy boy. Let's put another one in the back here. So just as off here. Give me the bedding. I'm gonna put more bedding in here. And just another one. Great. So let's do this. The dudes. Are they dudes going to be swimming now? I'm, I really want to see. Oh, baby flamingo! You go swimming? Or like, you're not swimming, but you, you're like going deep dive into the topic of water. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Go. It's just like, hmm, yeah, well, what shall I do? Shall I just stay here? Shall I just go? How, how do I decide, huh? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Great. See you later, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I think I'm gonna call it a day here. This is already enough for today's episode. I really hope that this will be our little cash cow to... Well, first of all, give me just hippo. With no power. Damn it. Okay, next episode, I really hope that we are going to get uh, more conservation credits to be... Um, yeah... In, in a way uh, able to get our lowland western lowland gorillas that would be a huge thing but for now that's it i hope you enjoyed today's episode again i i think in the future it will be more this way and not from the twitch stream but anyways i hope you enjoyed it hope to see you next time and until then have a great time guys bye bye Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRedCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click the sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.